So what is unique about the Victor Chang County Research Institute is that we use a highly interdisciplinary approach to understand, to tackle one very important class of human disease, the cardiovascular diseases. There's a long history of interaction between the Victor Chang and St. Vincent's Hospital in terms of the cardiovascular genetics program. We recruit a lot of families who have dilated cardiomyopathy in the cardiology department at the hospital and the physicians over there are very active in identifying patients. Next, to actually find out what the gene changes are that cause disease, we study their DNA and we need to use a number of sequencing techniques uh, to find variations in the DNA. Congenital heart disease means that basically a baby is born with a heart defect and, the, and it's the most common form of birth defect. About one in 100 live born babies actually have a heart defect. Through collaboration with clinical colleagues, we have access to DNA from hundreds of families who have congenital heart disease. And so we will be doing whole exome sequencing to identify the gene that is mutated in each of these families. So what we can do is look at the uh, DNA variants in an affected child and that child's unaffected family members and basically subtract away the gene variants such that we can get to the gene mutation that's caused the defect in that child really rather quickly. So families are an incredibly important part of our research project. We are in an era of genomics. That means we can now generate DNA sequences uh, using next generation sequencing technology. So these are technology that can generate millions or even billions of DNA sequences in a single run of experiments. You can imagine a scenario where in the future, a patient would go into the doctor's office to get their blood taken, to get their DNA sequence analyzed. So we want to build a reliable and accurate computational tools to help make this process happen. We're interested basically in the, in the building blocks of life and the molecular pathways that, that establish those building blocks and, uh, uh, and how form is generated and how function is generated in organs such as the heart. We've recruited uh, through our clinical collaborators uh, patients with, um, that are survivors uh, of uh, congenital heart disease surgery um, and we've been able to take skin biopsies from those patients and grow them in the laboratory and convert them into these pluripotent stem cells. This is very, very powerful technology and we hope to be able to provide a definitive statement on the mechanistic causes of this disease that are going to help clinicians in making key decisions uh, in treatment of, of, of babies that are born with these conditions. So contemporary research, one of the key uh, qualities of it is its, its multidisciplinary nature. We use a, a whole variety of techniques and we draw on the expertise of a whole variety of scientists to address a problem. Uh, and uh, indeed we have amongst our clinicians a pipeline for translation of this basic research all the way through to, to uh, deployment in, in the clinic and, and uh, application uh, to humans. So this is really one of the strengths of the Victor Chang Institute. We are at a very exciting time in human genetics and particularly cardiovascular genetics where everything we've learnt in the past is about to change and this is because of the amazing insights that are potentially able to be gained by sequencing the whole of the human genome. If you can find the exact cause of disease, we can potentially reverse the cause, which is a very exciting new direction and we have one very powerful example of that with the mutation in the sodium channel where we were able to reverse the cause of disease and our family members um, got better.